What's up, Fightables? Welcome back. You're at a new angle because I wanted the camera right here where it's like, bam. Because I want to be up close and personal, especially with a video like this. So really quick, the title's not clickbait. The title's not, oh, uh, it's a big joke. No. So the title is what it is. So if you're not interested in watching this video, I have plenty of other videos. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go to a video that won't upset you or anything like that. Because if you're here to give an opinion or preach or anything like that on my face and to tell me not to do it, I obviously already did it. Early April Fools, no, I did it. <laughs> okay, so that's it, no big deal. Your girl got Botox, not for the first time. I got my lips done for the very first time. I was very nervous, I'll get into that. And then I did my masseter, which is not my first time. It was my fourth time doing that. So so I, I've gotten Botox four times, masseter four times. Lips, this is my very first time. Let's just start from top to bottom, I guess. Let's start with the Botox, with the lips, and then we'll go into masseter. So I haven't done anything in three years. So I was actually very excited to bring my booty to the office. It's called the Image Center in Huntington Beach. They have a ton of other locations, but that's the location I go to. I absolutely love it because they're very realistic. They don't force you to do anything. I've heard horror stories from my other friends when I first was gonna get Botox and all that, and I was asking their opinion. They're like, make sure you don't feel pressured. Don't do anything you don't want to do. I've had girlfriends who have gone to doctors and they literally got pressured into doing so many things that they like reconstructed. <laughs> it just like, whoa, what happened? It's not you. And they realized that and they got too sucked in and they totally admit it. But I did get warnings from friends who were into Botox and all of that. They're just giving me advice, which I, that's what I wanted. So I love the image center because they don't pressure you. They're very realistic. And yeah, I've just always really felt comfortable at that place because this is serious, this is your face. The reason why I wanted Botox was because I started getting more wrinkles and more lines and aging is beautiful, but a procedure that's gonna make you happy, I say go for it and go do it because you can have all these opinions in your ears, but you gotta do it for your own self and I will say I do not regret it one bit. Squid hand, not one bit. I absolutely love it. So when I went in there, I had fine lines and new ones that were coming in, new wrinkles, and I'm very animated, but look, that's where I can lift right now. This is what makes me happy. I'm like on camera, you know, I take pictures, so I feel really good that I did it. I don't regret it whatsoever. So they basically make you make all these like faces, like frown, lift, all that. They'll suggest how many units you need. For instance, I was smiling, and then she's like, okay, you don't need anything down here because I don't really squint my, or I don't have crow's feet really, so that was good. And then again, it's one of those things where they're gonna say, you don't really need it. So if I don't need it, I didn't do it. Some people may want it just because. People also get Botox for preventative measures of wrinkles. And I will say, I kind of wish I kept up with it, but at the moment, it was literally the last thing on my list is to upkeep with this stuff because I definitely do uh, see new lines that have popped up. And yeah, I could have alleviated them, but oh well, whatever. I'm very happy with my results. I can still lift my forehead like, <gasps> It's very nice and smooth. My makeup lays on much better. So if you're curious on that, it definitely does. I feel fresh when I wake up in the morning. I'm like, whoo. Now let's move on to lips, which I feel like a lot of you want to know about. My lips, it was my very first time. Was I nervous? Yes. Did I, I was definitely nervous. I started thinking, okay, maybe I'm going to back out on that, but I'm definitely going to do Botox and masseter because I already know that. But then I thought, okay, if I'm going to do it, I was like, let me just try it now because then I've always wanted to do it and I feel like I was just thinking, overthinking too much. Like, oh, what are people gonna think? I'm gonna get comments online. Again, it's my face and all that. So I just wanna be really transparent. I will say I feel like my lips are really nice and I'm gonna compliment myself. I really do enjoy my lips except once it hit around like 2 p.m. or so, it's like the volume was not there. My lips are very nice and plump in the morning. They like, they shrivel towards the end of the night. And I was trying to explain that to like one of my girlfriends because she keeps it 100 with me. She's awesome. She always tells me like, girl, your lips already look fake. People already think you have fake lips and they're natural, they're real. Like your lips are what girls want after their stuff. And I said, I know, I just wanna try it. So I said, what the hell, let me just do it. And do I regret it? No, I don't. I, I'm really excited um, about my lips. I like how plump they are. It's not overdone. It's not too crazy to me. They look good. They don't look, well, I will say I have a good border is what they stated. And that made me feel really good because 
And it also makes sense because my lips were already full. So if you basically have like a pretty good border or outline, it's almost like think of it as painting. If you already have the outline and you're just like, oh, you just stay within the lines. It's easy, you're just plumping that area. So that's basically what she did. My injector was Nicole, she was absolutely amazing. I really loved her, she made me feel really comfortable. Also Rachel that's at the front desk, she's absolutely amazing. And she was handling things with me as well. Oh, and also since I'm an influencer, yes they did, this whole procedure was covered and everything, I wanna put that out there. But again, I'm gonna give you my true honest opinion on everything, like just because this is a procedure that was taken care of for me. Um, it's definitely not gonna like twist what I'm gonna say whatsoever. So once she started doing my lips, she was telling me that and it made me feel really good. And it makes sense because if you do have smaller lips, you have to think about it this way. They have to literally make the border and they did use a new type of filler on me. I forgot what it's called. I have clips of everything. I'm gonna show you all that stuff. And I, it's basically a much better filler for the lips. It's a filler to not migrate because I definitely know that's a topic. That's something I wanted to talk about. You'll see the whole vlog at the end. I got the numbing cream, but I have a pretty high pain tolerance. I also have like a foot tattoo. When I got it, everybody's like, oh my gosh, the foot hurts so much. It's so sensitive. When I got it, I was like, <gasps> Like I was so excited, plus I was in Tahiti and it was amazing and I'm a dancer and it has such meaning to me and everything behind it, but yeah. So I do, I will say that there are some girls who cry. One of the girls said that she's pretty sensitive and she kind of cried. She just wanted to be honest with me, which I really appreciate. All just depends. I did see different videos on YouTube just so I could like watch stuff beforehand. Can that scare you? Yes, it can. I'll be very honest because I think that's what started making my nerves go. I was watching videos and some girls said, yes, it's very painful, blah, blah, blah. But for me, it really wasn't. I could see how it could be, but they're just like, really hard pinches you don't feel the you don't feel the filler going in i'm just gonna leave it to the vlog just so you can see it but i will say the pros is that yes 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 you can get numbed <laughs> yes you can get numbed it definitely does help and you just don't want to work i didn't work out beforehand for 48 hours just to make sure to you know just because of blood and bruising and all of that i also did take arnica for three days previous for the procedure just to help with bruising and swelling beforehand. I do recommend that. I also sell Arnica bombs, which they had in the office. I did get an Arnica ointment off Amazon, but I ended up not using it. I used their, their, their own bomb because it's really good. And there's Arnica in there. So then just no sucking on a straw, um, or exercising or making kissy faces. There was no making out. Sorry, all my makeout queens. You can't make out uh, for 24 hours after, I believe. And you don't wanna sip a straw for up to three days, but I did it up to four, which is very difficult because I'm kind of weird with not using a straw. And every time I put my mouth on the glass, if we were out, I'm like... Other than that, the cons are honestly swelling and bruising and for it to feel tender. My lips felt tender for the first two days and then after that it didn't. It was just bruised and swelling. Obviously you don't have control of the swelling and all of that. Um, so you're gonna have inconsistency. So if you do do your lips, the healing time I believe they said was two weeks. That's pretty much what it took me. And you do, I will say, you do look a little wild afterwards, especially like the first two to three days. They said the first two, but I would say two to three, I looked a little wild. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, thank goodness for masks. That's all I can really tell you is that the downside is like, yeah, the swelling and the bruising and you're tender, you can't use a straw and you just don't work out. So there's your excuse. I also stayed away from like super salty foods and sweets and all that just for the bruising and the swelling. I think the Arnica helped a lot. Do I regret it? No. Will I keep up with it? Okay, Botox, I'm definitely gonna keep up with it. Will I keep up with my lips? Honestly, it's not something I would get addicted to, I think because I, and I'll tell you why. I was already pretty blessed with like some full lips. So to me, this is the most I would ever do. I would never do any more. I'm definitely not one to go out of hand or go wild or get addicted. I know that there's a ton of girls getting their lips dissolved right now that have put it out there. I know Jacqueline Hill said it. She's been doing it for six plus years. That's a really long time. And I'm pretty sure she did it more than once a year. Don't see myself keeping up with this, maybe for like a plump here and there, but I don't know. I don't know if I would really keep up. Glad I did it, but I don't know. You just like kind of factor in like how often you have to come and money and what you want and yeah, 
I don't know. It's one of those things where I'm glad I did it. And if I want like a little plump here and there, then I don't see an issue doing it. But I don't see myself like make my appointment. I have to come in. I see a little bit loss of all. No, I really don't. And for the recovery time, I think that's honestly what it was. It's just kind of a little inconvenience, especially like since I film and all that and just the way the lips feel. I'm like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like, uh, because Botox downtime is like zero. You get little bubbles and they're gone like within 30 minutes. So no one even knows that you got Botox. Now let's get to the masseterm. So the reason why I get my masseter done is because because of the teeth grinding. And I've done it for quite a while now, like I said. My dentist definitely pointed it out to me and I was like, okay, well, I heard that there's a procedure, let me try it out. So I did get it done and I absolutely loved it because now my jaw isn't hurting because I started noticing it was very tense right here and like my muscle part right here, it was like, I like tense up and it was not fun. I can feel I was overworking this area and it really sucks too because then when I was like stressed out, I'm like, I would do this jaw thing and it's not a good time when you do that several times a day. So that has definitely been controlled and a benefit of it is that it helps give you a V shape of your face, which I absolutely love. I have a very round face, so this helps me and I really love that. There's a lot of people that go in literally just for the slimming effect and not because of teeth grinding, but me, I'm happy because I benefit from bro, from, from bro from both. I don't get numbed here. Uh, I will say it does look like it goes in pretty deep. When my friend came to watch me like the third time, she, cause she was interested, she was like, ah, ah. she was freaking out. <laughs> cause she's like, oh, that's deep, that's deep. I think it looks worse than what it really is. Uh, I will say my injector, she was probably my favorite one out of every one that I have had. Also, I do wanna say with the smile, you have to be careful too, because the masseter, since it is getting uh, these areas right here, I did have one little issue a one time where my smile and I will say that was on my bad because I felt like my smile was a little off on one side so I kind of pointed it out before I got injected and this was a couple years ago when I second time when I did it and my smile was also awesome. kind of like this because I had I was like oh one side's like this and she's like okay well then I'll put more on one side and I think I messed it all up because then I was like like this a little like an I smile my smile was a little bit longer. So I wanna be very honest with that. Please go to an established place. If you don't have um, someone who's truly trained in injecting the masseter, sometimes it can go too deep and it'll alter your smile. But when you get this done, the only side effect I will say like right away is that it just feels a little tense. That's all, it just feels tense. And then also you might feel like headaches from the Botox, but that's about it. It's nothing, it's very mild. So let me show you my face up front because I know that's what you wanna see. See, I can still move my eyebrows. I had a line right here. You can still see this line because that was already set. Obviously they can't do anything about it. So what's there is there, but it's not as deep. It looks so much better. And my makeup lays on really nice. So now here are my lips. They're honestly just super full. Like I said, uh, I don't have any issues with my lips. I absolutely love it. It doesn't feel weird. Oh, I will say when you do get bruising because I contacted them, I was like, oh, I feel like a bump right here and a bump here and you could just massage it. But they basically went away. I don't feel anything anymore. Now it's just like smooth. As far as my jaw, there's nothing really to see. They just go in and that's it. But there you go. So I did have, so with my anatomy, my lip is a little bit lower than one side, but then she was like, oh, I can't manipulate. I was like, that's fine. Again, very nice and honest, not trying to, you know, do some magic trick on my face. Here's my face and I really love it. Image Center Huntington Beach. You can tell them that I sent you there. I don't get anything. It's just kind of like, oh, hey, she made a video. You know, I kind of talked about it. That's it, I'm not getting paid or anything like that. So let me know any questions down below, anything like that. Again, please no judgment. Do whatever you wanna do to your own self and your own body and all that. Uh, that's all for you. Again, this is just what I wanted to do and I'm very, very happy. And then I feel like I might get asked like, oh, is there anything in the future that you would wanna do? No, because at first I wanted to do liposuction for my chin, I'll be very honest, because I gained a lot of weight in 2020, but I've been going to the gym more and I've kind of alleviated some of it. So I just wanna do it naturally. I wanna get more fit and just healthy and my chin will go, but it is a thing where I gain weight, the first thing it goes to my face. The only thing I can kind of think of that I would want to do is like a breast lift because your girl got some melons, uh, but it's not like, oh, I have to do it tomorrow. Am I interested? Definitely. I have seen like 
uh, different ways. Obviously, I would need a lollipop, I'm pretty damn sure. And that scar is pretty extreme, but at the end of the day, like I wouldn't care because it's like underneath. Who's gonna really be seeing my titties? Just Glenn, you know, or like, I don't know. I don't I don't think they're gonna be anywhere else. I, well, I hope not. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. So let's get into the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully this helped you. At the end of the day, if you wanna ever try anything, I say try it. Don't knock it till you try it. It's no big deal. If you don't like it, then don't do it ever again. And also with Botox, it all depends like uh, with your body, with how long it lasts. Call the office, you can get a consult for free and you can go in there and um, ask questions and all that. So I highly suggest just doing that just because you're talking to the professionals and they know what they're talking about. Um, but I just wanna give you my experience. All right, all right. Okay, so let's get to the vlog part. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Neurotoxins will freeze your muscles for about three to six months. Again, um, your body metabolizes filler, neurotoxins, food in different ways. So I kind of like to say like how your body metabolizes food, it's kind of generally the same almost for fillers. Your neurotoxins hopefully will last for six months, four to six months. Um, that's, what be, that's what you want. That's what you want. Yeah, that's so what I'm like, last right? six months, please. You're like, the maximum, I want that. Yes. Um, we'll be using a product called Xeomin on you. It's actually a, a newer product. It's a more oh. purified form of Botox. Oh. Uh, there's less impurities. It does, for me personally, I love the look it gives me. It gives me a very glossy, smooth finish. What is the name? Xeomin. Xeomin. X-E-O-M-I-N. Oh, Xeomin. nice. Yeah. Okay. I tried spelling it once on the internet, and I was like, <laughs> I'm talking to my, like I can't You're like find xylophone. it. Like, I was, yeah, I was like, with a Z. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're doing that. Also for your lips, Lizzie, we're gonna probably use a product called Versa on you. Okay. It comes with 20% more than a normal filler. That doesn't mean we have to use it. You're always more than welcome to come back. What we like to say is we can add more. We never want to like take okay. it away and dissolve you. Right. It's a little painful. Yeah. Um. So let's start with something subtle for you. You know, your injector will go over everything. She'll evaluate your lips. Um, it's going to be our lead injector today, so you're in really good hands. We're okay, going to take great. really good care of you. Her name? Uh, her name is Nicole. Nicole, okay. Yes, so my rule of thumb, be as honest as you want. It's your face. Be oh, as yes. Be picky as you want. I'm honest. I'm like, if I'm you picky. have to. Because we start a face every day. You know, we <laughs> right, notice right, the right. things that people are like, you don't have that. And you're like, no, I do. Yes, like, I do. As your eyes twitching, you're like, I do have that. <laughs> so just be as honest as you want. She'll take really good care of you. Okay, that, great. Okay? I only put a little concealer so I don't look like dead there. Are you currently pregnant or breastfeeding? No. Um, allergic to latex or lidocaine? No. Um, COVID vaccine within the past two weeks? No. Okay. Um, any other allergies or medications that you take that I should be aware of? No. I was uh, taking arnica. I heard that helps. Oh, good. Okay, you've been taking arnica. Oh, yeah, I even have it in here too. I'm just like, all right, let me just. Good. Okay, I should take my other one right now. <laughs> you can't. That'll help yeah. with your bruising and swelling a ton. I'm glad to hear that you're doing yeah. that because that's like a lifesaver. I'm telling you. Let me go grab the numbing cream. Sorry. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> Am I in? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Guys, it's happening. Do you have a good angle? Yeah. I'm doing Botox. It's been three years. Taking Arnica. I'm doing my lips for the first time, even though some people were like, don't do it, don't do it. Let me just try. If I don't like it, then I won't do it in the future. I'm doing masseter today. Start numbing you, okay? Yeah. And that's what we're all about. Yeah. And I just wanted to try it. Like I said, 
I've never done it before, so it's like, let me do it first before everybody's in my ear, left and right. No, you're good. And for any of you know, okay? Okay. The filler will last you, again, six to 12 months, we kind of say. Personally, for me, mine lasted longer than that, but I think my body just doesn't metabolize fillers as quickly, mm -hmm. so it depends. But we usually recommend patients get injected so much really quickly, because that could cause yeah. migration. We don't want to cause that. Yeah, that's um, another thing I've been hearing about, is migration. So migration is more common also with Juvederm products, uh, mm. so we don't need that okay. on okay. um, And if you do, like, not hyper inject, but if you inject a lot very quickly, mm -hmm. naturally no, it will. Yeah. We yeah. want to naturally just build yes. it if you want, so we'll get there. I like to go natural. We don't like to overcome. No. Mm -hmm. No clowns here. No. No clowns, just queens. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> After care, I will probably repeat it a million times. Oh yeah, but I want to hear it. No alcohol working out, makeup to the area, first 24 hours, okay? Okay. Avoid drinking out of a straw for the next two to three days. First 24 to 48 hours, you will be swollen, you will be bruised. At any point, you could be needing a stuff to Mm-hmm. Look, they're not even flinching. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like deep breath up it just makes my eye want water. Yeah, that's it. That's but it's not bad at all. Uh, you have a high pain tolerance, huh? Mm-hmm. I, I just say I like to act like a baby with him. <laughs> so when I got a bee sting, that shit hurt. That's like a different type of pain, I feel like. About <laughs> bee in our pool, and straddling this pineapple float we have. <laughs> I cannot. Yeah, and then I'm like, there's a bee here, I'm gonna get stung. He's like, no, you're not. The second I said that, I got stung. No. I was like, oh, when I flipped into our pool, I just felt like a hot sensation. I was like, I think I'm allergic to bees. Oh no. <laughs> like just the outline itself was good. No, I know. I'm staring because the testing looks really nice. Thank you. All right, I was like, I want to say thank you, but then I wanted you to do your job. So I was just like, all right, don't say anything. <laughs> so excited to see the final result. Oh. So swelling usually, how long do you think? Two to three days. Oh, really? Oh, okay. You should be. That's going down by then. Yes. And then I can wear makeup after 24 hours, right? Yes. yes. I would say 20 and 20. But with the master's muscle, if you hit, it can affect your smile. How I inject it, you hit the belly of the muscle to mm -hmm. make sure we're in the muscle. Okay, I'm in the clear. Yeah. Okay. Can <laughs> <laughs> you raise your eyebrows really high up for me? Yeah, I haven't done anything in three years. No yeah, well, you so, look good. <laughs> thank you. I've never got anything over here. You don't really pull as much. Relax. Mm -hmm. I can't even. Tiny little pinches, okay? Okay. With Botox, keep your head up for the next four hours, okay? Okay. Give it two weeks for it to fully kick in. Um, no alcohol. Well, alcohol can cause bruising. I'll fix that. Um, we don't drink a lot anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you wash your face, be very gentle in the area that is being treated. Mm -hmm. So no like rubbing the area hard. Just be very gentle in the washes, no exfoliating. Just be very, very gentle. Um, no hats, no saunas, no steamers, okay? Mm -hmm. For the first 24 hours. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to... Like this one is right like here. new right here. This one has been there. When you do it, it feels much better. You are all done. Yay. With the wash slip on. All done. Perfect. You were the best. <gasps> Thank you. I'm so glad. I hope you love them. I know. Yes. I've been freezing a little. Just a little. little. Oh, I it's wait. okay. I can't wait to see you in like three weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna send her yeah. selfies to her We're number. We're gonna be best friends before. I know. <laughs> now I'm gonna go get a piercing. I'm kidding. Yeah. It's an inside yeah. joke. <laughs> I'm so glad I went forward and did it. I, they're obviously swollen right now, but once they go down, and Nicole was absolutely amazing. I wish I would have vlogged with her. I totally forgot. I'm glad I had a good border because I won't lie, I was very nervous beforehand, but yeah, and Botox is so simple. I've done it before. I've done masseter before, super simple, but I will say out of all the injectors I've had, she's the best with masseter. It felt very comfortable. I was a little worried for that one, but she was so good. I'm already loving it. It's obviously gonna go down but I can't wait. They also relocated. They're just right across the street now. So they are here in Huntington Beach. So they used to be at the Image Center at a building just right, like literally you could walk there. So now they're in this taller building right here. Honestly, I'm so excited. I love my results already. I already know I'm gonna really like it. And at all this area right here, you just get like little bumps so they go down. You can't even see where she did the Botox. And then for the lips, ugh. 
I'm just so glad I went forward with it and I felt really comfortable and they never ever force you to do anything you don't want to do which is why I really like that location because I've had a lot of friends who have had experiences at other places where they just push lots of procedures on you so yeah Can you see me there we go there swollen um, it was very easy for me I have a high pain tolerance I will say that um, but I'm excited for the full results. I'm gonna be updating you guys too, and obviously when I film, you guys are gonna be seeing this, but oh, I just feel better. I honestly do, I feel like refreshed. I got like new wrinkles and stuff that came in, so obviously they can't be re reversed, but so excited.